Hello, I'm Susan Stroman. I'm the director and choreographer of Big Fish. And uh, Big Fish allows great opportunities for different types of choreography. For example, we have a big tap dance in the USO. We have ballet with the mermaid and the dancing fire. And uh, we even have ballroom dancing in the wedding. But most of all, the choreography that we find throughout the show is very rhythmic and it's based on a type of clogging. For example, there is a dance that takes place in the circus. It's called the Alabama Lambs. Our leading lady, Kate Baldwin, uh, she plays Sandra Templeton. And Sandra Templeton comes to the circus with her two best friends. She wants to audition for Amos Calloway, played by Brad Oscar. And she does this wonderful little song called Alabama Lambs. And within this song, they do a type of clogging called flat footing. And this flat footing you see in Alabama everywhere. And it's a type of clogging that when uh, you do a shuffle or you do a kick or anything, you scoot back on your supporting foot. So throughout all of the uh, dance steps within flat footing, there's always one supporting foot always scooting back. of clogging we have in the show is good old country western clogging. There's a fantasy where Edward Bloom uh, is having uh, a dementia dream and he falls asleep with the TV on and he's watching an old western and of course all the western characters come out of the TV and they start to dance and they do a country western type of clogging which is also found down south and of course found in the west and uh, although it's still down in the ground uh, the shuffles there's many shuffles and uh, skips and leaps another type of uh, rhythm step that you see in the show is something called the Alabama stomp and this comes from the idea that Edward Bloom believes if you can't get a fish to get hooked on your line, you should do the Alabama stomp on the wharf. And fish will start to shake and their fins will start moving and they'll come leaping out of the river. And this is a form of clogging, but it's a bit more about stomping. Stomp your feet onto the ground and it has also hand bone in it. So it's a combination of hand bone and stomping, and of course that also is found down south and in Alabama. And we launch into the Alabama stomp, and lo and behold, fish come leaping out of the pit, and the fisherman can feed his family for a lifetime. The other type of rhythm that we have in the show, uh, rhythm dancing, is a good old tap dance. Uh, one of our fantasies is Edward Bloom goes to uh, tell his son about the war. And within this story, we uh, create a USO. And Edward Bloom uh, is found in the middle of a USO number fighting the villain Red Fang. And he's caught up in a dance number with uh, our ladies called the Liberty Bells. And within the number, the Liberty Bells and Edward Bloom save General Patterson from uh, Red Fang, the villain. And this dance is definitely uh, echoes steps from uh, the 40s and the 50s. There are swinging cramp rolls, there are pullbacks, uh, and it's all, all done uh, dancing heavy tap, but it's done in a very feminine way and very unison in what you would find in something like a USM show. So for me as a choreographer, it's been a joy to be able to have a show like Big Fish to do more than one type of dancing. As I said before, the tap, the ballet, the ballroom, and then all these wonderful types of clogging steps that you do find down south in Alabama. Woo!